So we're at Goat Lake, got a couple, got someone new to America who got separated from his partner. The couple is staying up by Goat Lake for the night and they have asked us if we could help bring home the lost person and help him find uh, the girl that he was with. And this should be interesting. Hi, my name is Alex and this is my friend Nick. We are on a journey to find the best wilderness quest in America. This week, we are at Goat Lake in the Sawtooth Mountains, middle of Idaho. Welcome to the Sawtooth Mountains. We are at Iron Creek Trailhead, and today we're gonna be hiking up to Goat Falls and Goat Lake. Let's go. We're about at 2.4 mile mark. We just went up the first big incline. Now we're wrapping our way around the mountain. And then we got another straight up to Go Lake. I got tired of bringing water with me, so I decided to start drinking straight out of the waterfalls that I find on the trail. If you want to look for the steady stream, you want the water to be coming down really fast. Yeah, I've been doing this for about a month, perfectly healthy. How good is the water compared to, let's say, your normal spring water or your Dasani Zephyr Hills? Dasani's terrible, but it tastes exactly like Zephyr Hills or spring water. So just made it up to Goat Lake and this is now our fifth wilderness quest. Every wilderness quest human needs to earn their stripes by having a wilderness quest name. Welcome Uncle Skeeter. <laughs> that is Nick's new wilderness quest name, Uncle Skeeter. I think it's fitting, but I do believe he does deserve the name Uncle Skeeter. It's very fitting for him. But besides that, let's enjoy some uh, more Goat Lake. to a couple on the mountain. They found a lost guy who does not speak much English. The couple is staying up by Goat Lake for the night and they have asked us if we could help bring home the lost person to the trailhead and help him find uh, the girl that he was with. So we're gonna have a new, uh, we're gonna have a new quester for the rest of this trip. And welcome Kyle, who for privacy purposes, we will be blurring his face for this video. We got a registered A1 athlete on the quest. Just look at him go. Stick placement, elite. We're about done with the hiking part of the wilderness quest, but today it's going to be extended a little bit because we got to help Kyle find his friend. Uncle Skeeter walks through the game plan. Uh, yeah, we're just going to get to the end of the trailhead, get our phones charged up, figure out where we need to go. Operation find Kyle's friend is a go. All right, so we just got back to the car. We got Kyle with us. Everything's good. We're good to go. We're heading to Stanley area now. That's where he initially came from. We're going to see if his friend's still there. Stanley, hopefully we get a car there. Let's go. So update, Kyle has found his friend's car. So she's not here. So now we continue to look. All right, and uh, Kyle is now going back to uh, his lodge. Nick, thoughts on, um, as Kyle put it, saving his life? Always feels good. Save someone's life. Kyle went home safely, put his, uh, sticks on his friend's car because she was not there. Well, besides that, what what a day. What, what, we'll call it that. Learned a lot about China today. 
All right, Nick, first thing I have to ask is would you go to China after learning so much about the Chinese culture from our good friend Kyle? Of course, Kyle gave us a lot of insight to China that I never knew, and it sounds like a very exciting place. China, in your eyes, a better country. I mean, I always thought China was a good country, but yeah. I have to admit, people from the Chinese culture are a lot more adventurous than I thought. would love to get out there and visit the beautiful national parks what an absolute adventure. What were your initial thoughts when we found the couple and they said, bring Kyle home? I was worried for his safety. We weren't sure if there was gonna have to be some sort of rescue mission for his friends, but thankfully everything worked out in the end. All right, let's get down to it. Nick, what is your rating for this week's Wilderness Quest? This week's Wilderness Quest, I will give a 8.2. It was a great hike. It just wasn't that long. There wasn't that much to it, but the scenery at the lake was incredible, and the experience was uh, pretty awesome meeting a new quester. I'm gonna give it a 7.7, .7. very basic height. Goat Lake was magical. And gotta shout out Kyle. He made the wilderness quest. It was nice having an additional quester for once, and not just Uncle Skeeter. Next week, we will be going back to Grand Tetons, hiking through a canyon. We're gonna try out an overnight wilderness quest see how it goes. See you next week.